is the sheriff's office and the deputies come in and they decide to do this. Hey man, peace and blessings to the tribe. Like, share, and subscribe, family. You are now watching Telescope Channel. Hey man, peace and blessings to the tribe. Like, share, and subscribe, man. I ain't even lie, man. Y'all see what I got up, man. That whole video was trash, dog. Like, just to see any human being, let alone black, but any human being go through that type of beating, all of those people on one man, that's just uncalled for, bro. That's so, like, inhumane. And on top of that, I just want to say this starting off, because I know how a lot of people probably going to take this, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm finna just, like, you know, go one direction with it. I just want to start it off by saying, just to get it understood, all police is not bad. All, all policemen are not bad. But the policemen that, that displayed their actions like that in that room, right then and there, in that action, nah, man, no, they're not, they're not bad. They evil. They're savages, man. Those people are not, like, they shouldn't have no, they're not policemen. They're not here to protect the serve. They're not here for none of that. And... It's obvious that the dude in the gray or the white shirt, whichever color it is, but he he just had it really out for this for this brother. Like he really had it out for this brother. Now, um, a little backstory on what I was watching, you know, um, because a lot of the stuff I couldn't really put it in um, in the video because it's a lot of screaming and violence. I don't want to have that on the channel. It's just too much, you know. Um, you can go check it out for yourself. But also. Um, they were saying that he had a paper. He he had like a paper or something like that that he didn't want to give to them. They were like, man, just give like give me the paper, MF. Like, give me the paper, MF. Like that. If it's just a paper, just give it to me. And then, you know, he was like, if you, I would if you just give me a moment. And then after that, they just started like, you know, like just beating on him and stuff like that. So, um, just watching this happen, man. Like, I'm finna let y'all see what the community got to say about it. But, man, just watching this happen from the outside on in, bro. Like, you don't even got to stay in this town and see that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what it's like living there. You know what I'm saying? So, this is what the community had to say about it. Telescope. Yeah, man, exactly as I said, man, trash. And it's crazy because the, the guy that they beat, um, I believe he was on probation, but the guy that they beat, 
Um, now he's been charged with, I guess, I'm, I'm guessing like what battery on a Leo assault and stuff like that. All these various charges. Um, he went and he initially had like some mental breakdown and he was on probation, 41 years old. So, um, like, yeah, they pulled his dreads out, chip one of his teeth and, you know, probably got all type of other, you know, um, conditions and stuff like that with his head being banged against the wall and his legs being like pushed. He was being pushed in the wheelchair, like with his legs hitting that. That metal steel, if you ever, you know, went to a jailhouse, I'm pretty sure everybody done been through that stage before in their life, if you're old enough. If you ever went to the jailhouse for whatever reason, whatever circumstance, um, you know, those those benches, those metal benches are pretty hard, man. And they've been there for years. So for somebody's like bones to be, you know, sit like uh, handcuffed, your legs are handcuffed to a seat and you're just getting your, your shins or you're just getting, you know, slammed to the to that, man. You got to have shins, uh, shins of steel to... To withstand that man that's crazy like just the brutality and stuff like that you know and you know i'm not taking it as a joke or anything like that um i'm definitely shedding light on it because i feel like it is serious so i'm not taking it as a joke or anything for the people that's gonna be in the comments talking crazy but it's, it's a tragic story man that is even happening like that i mean i won't say it's tragic because the brother still got his life but it, it's still bad and thank god it thank god that it wasn't a tragic story you know to where I won't have to be reporting on him being gone because in most scenarios, like that's what it is. That's normally what happens. Like, you know what I'm saying? They they beat you into his like until you know you're out of there. And that's even like the um there was another story, I believe I have it on my page, but um there's another story where a guy they, they beat this guy up and his body was like pretty much like left he was left in there for like two days. You know what I'm saying? Dead. It was another guy, uh he ingested um medication and um they left him in there for like two or three days you know dead so it's like man once you're behind that wall you know it ain't really no compassion it's already really if you're a black man out here man you know it really it's hard to find compassion anyway so you know especially not even speaking on the guys that are convicted felons or if you got a criminal background then that's two strikes against you you know what i'm saying so it's like you know, you black and you got a criminal record. So, yeah, you got to clean it up, man. You know, like, that's why it's always good, man, to just, you know, fly straight, man. Get Go get you a job and something like that, man. Take care of your kids, build your family, because that's what's important right now. It's like being out here, being able to be accessible and free to, to be with your family, man. You don't want to be locked in a cage like an animal and stuff like that. So, uh, it's unfortunate that this brother had to go through this. Um, I feel like more people should be shedding more light on this story. So that's why I took the time out of my day to do uh, to do so. Um, it just seemed like that dude with the white shirt, you know, if it, I feel like all of them had it out for him and stuff like that. And they were going, you know, pretty much, you know, ape shit on him. But I think that the dude with the white shirt, he, he probably could have been like a major or he probably could have been a trainee or something like that. But it seemed like they were following his lead and you know what i'm saying more so and like he was like a ringleader of some sort um and it seemed like he really had it out for that brother um for whatever the reason is i don't know but it seemed like he really had it out for him also seemed like they had some some uh some, some new like night look like young guys like 17 18 you know beating on this man not 17 obviously they won't be able to be in the force but um like 18 years old and then i'm pretty sure it's a small town so or small county so everybody around there probably family oriented they i wouldn't be surprised if he if he was 17 you know working on that force or something like that man it's, it's a lot of corruption in those little small towns like that um you know because they done had it for years generation generation been passed down man Cannon county trash man like it's crazy that um you know we still living in these times and whatever but when you behind that wall, man, it's like, you know, and especially in a town like that, like, man, like, it ain't really nothing. Your hands are kind of tied. Like, you see the people, even the, even the straightforward people in suits are saying, like, you know, they saying it, like, dude said it straight up, like, man, like, I don't want to live here. Like, this ain't the town you want to live in, like, if you black, you know, like, he just said it straightforward. So, you know, it's, I mean, it's unfortunate that that's going on, man, but. I hope y'all enjoyed this story or, you know, um, I hope y'all was, I, I, I want y'all to be wild by this story because I want y'all to like, you know, share this story. I want y'all to put that out there that, you know, like this, these people need to be investigated. Oh yeah. And as a matter of fact, I want to touch on the, 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 the officers and, and the reporter made it very, he was very specific about saying that they were still on duty, but 
they, the officers aren't fired or anything like that. They're on a, a, administrative duty, administrative duty. That's exactly how you said it. Like he put in a lot of emphasis on duty. Like they're still working. They're st- they still have their job. So, um, you know, it's unfortunate that we living in these times, like I said before, man. And I hope that y'all can, um, you know, shed some light on this story as well. Uh, jump in the comment section if you, you know, if, if you got anything to say on any opinions or anything like that. You know, uh, like the, like this uh, this video so that I can get out there, you know what I'm saying, to the people that it should reach and need to reach. Um, and, yeah, man, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel for sure. Uh, Man, this this story kind of ain't. I'm not gonna lie, man. This story, it, it got. I want to keep on. Like, I really want to go in on it, but you know, I'm gonna save that for another time because you know what I'm saying. Like, it's just like it's just disgusting to watch this this type of stuff. I actually put up a short of it already, but like stuff like this, I really don't like it because it's like for the people that are flying straight, you know, and doing the right thing. When you see that, like. Like how they beating this brother? I was like, damn, they want to do that to you anyways, whether you good or bad, you know. And then you see, you you see the brother in the suit was saying like, man, if you black, like this ain't the town you want to stay in, you know what I'm saying? So it's a very shitty story, man. Um, but I'm happy to update y'all with it, man. So peace and blessings, man. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace and blessings to the tribe for sure, man. You're not watching Telescope Channel. Welcome to the Keymet family. I was playing with Dad, and now it's time to go in the water.